Right, everybody, uh, welcome back. And today, obviously, I'm in the office and I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm reviewing the tripod that I've been using, which is the Bemro. Hold on, bear with me. It is the Bemro Mark III and it's the TMA28A and it's a fantastic tripod. It's not one of the high-end tripods as such, but it is certainly a contender if you are on a budget. It's a fantastic little tripod. Um, I've packed mine away in the bag that it comes with, which is super nice bag. I haven't actually used it though. Um, I'm one of those people that just strap it to my bag or just carry it anyway. Uh, but if I'm ever traveling, or anything else, because that is a super solid bag. Um, and so let's just, just get into it and let's talk about the things that I do like and the things that I don't like. And so far, there's two things that I don't like about this tripod, but they are very easy fixes. So, right, so let's just dive straight into this tripod and let's open up this bag and I'll show you what's all inside. So obviously, once you've unzipped it, you will find this other little bag you'll be greeted with, which is a, it's not a thick bag as such, but it's, it will keep it nice and protected from like scratches and things like that if you're ever using it. I personally don't use it. It's, it's came out the bag and the bag has stayed in that other bag. But like I said, it might not be your cup of tea to use it for your tripod, but you might be able to find something else to use it with or when you're traveling on things like that. So yes, so obviously once you've got it in, out the bag, you will find your tripod and the first thing you'll notice is that it doesn't come with a ball head. Um, but I kind of like that. It doesn't come with a ball head and the reason why I like it is purely because a lot of the tripods that come with ball heads nowadays, they've spent a lot of money on the tripod or and well time and effort the company on the tripod but the ball head is really standard it's flimsy it, it either doesn't have, even have a pan lock on it or it's just one lever and it just flaps about so when I decided to look at getting a new tripod and I come across this one the first thing that I was glad of is that it didn't come with the ball head which means that I know that they've put more effort into the actual tripod itself um, I will be getting a new ball head for it uh, I've been currently using my old one which is on its way out, it's starting to wear out but I am in the process of getting one of Benro's uh, ball heads for it. Um, so yeah, so don't put it up, put you off, don't let it put you off, sorry, that it doesn't come with a ball head because that means then you've got the freedom and you haven't wasted an extra 30, 40 pounds on getting a ball head with this tripod that is a waste of time. So buy the one without it, and then buy the one that you want. Um, you might probably spend a little bit more money that way, but the quality overall, you're getting a decent ball head and a tripod instead of decent tripod, okay ball head, for more money than what this probably costs on its own. So yeah, bear that in mind, but it's obviously, this is that's just my personal opinion. Um, so let's get into the tripod itself. Obviously, it's not the lightest of tripods. It is fairly heavy. It's made of aluminium. It's not carbon fiber. Um, but in all fairness, I love the fact that it's quite weighty. I don't feel the weight too much on it. Um, probably after a couple of days hiking or something, maybe, this may become a problem. But apart from that, it's not been a problem with the weight. Um, regarding to with the weight though, it does play to some advantages. I personally think because this tripod is a lot heavier than my old one, the sturdiness is fantastic. I mean, I my image quality is so much better with this tripod than my old one. Um, I'd have to take three, maybe five images of just the same scene to, and then and then really sort of look and hope and pray that one of them came out sharp on the back of the camera. Um, but this one nails it every time. It is very very good. Um, I've had it in rough sea, high wind, and it's never let me down. Um, the center column is sturdy as anything. It's probably the sturdiest one I've used so far out of the four tripods I've had. And definitely this this one meets the requirements of sturdiness, sta stability as well. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Um, let's move on to the legs. Uh, you'll see that they are the twist locking mechanisms. Um, not to everyone's taste. 
um, and I can agree with some of the issues behind them um, but personally I was on that other side of the fence and I preferred the levers up to the point where I got this tripod. Um, I found the levers to be great as in that you know when they're on and off. Uh, these you have to make sure so that's the one downfall that I agree with everybody is that with the levers you know if they're on or they're off but with the levers they wear out they snap they get creaky they squeak once seawater gets in they rust this you can unscrew the whole thread off the whole leg and clean every single little bit and a little bit of uh, WD-40 or whatever or a bit of grease and things like that or whatever and then just wipe it afterwards it gets all the sand seawater all of it out and it is fantastic that I can now do that which makes my tripod very very nice and clean all the time now this tripod I've had now for a good sort of like four or five months I think um, and as you can see it's not in bad condition at all um, and this has been everywhere with me. This has been, it's had a good couple of camping trips with me. It's been in mud, salt water and things like that. And I've kept it clean. Um, so, but obviously because I can do that, that's why I think this tripod will last me a little bit longer than all my other ones. So that's the actual tripod itself. Obviously you can, it's got the adjustable locks on the legs at the top. So you can get super low profile, which I will talk to about something else in a minute. Um, Obviously, to adjust the center column, you've got that section there, which obviously moves, which I have another thing to go on in a minute. So, right, let's dive into the rest of the bag, and you'll notice at the front, there are two little pockets, and you will see there's a little little plastic uh, sort of sleeve, and inside that, you have a little booklet, uh, an Allen key, a little uh, toolkit, and three spikes. Now. The spikes were a big deal for me, um, be purely because a lot of the tripods in this price bracket do, didn't actually come with spikes at all, which kind of shocked me because I'd have thought that that would have been pretty standard. They might have changed now, but when I purchased this at the time, a lot of the other brands and even some of Benro's other tripods uh, at the time, it wasn't advertised that it came with spikes anyway, but this one was advertised with them and did come with them, which was fantastic. Um, obviously in the other pocket, you will notice that you have this little bag, which is kind of handy. Now I do use this, this, this does come with me. Um, and for one big reason. Now, shooting super low profile is a big, big deal to me. Um, I like doing it with seascape shots, seascape shots, sorry. And you'll notice that when that leg is fully down with all of them, I won't do, let's, let's, let, let, let's just do it. So you'll, you'll notice that once this is down, this section here will be in the way. Now obviously you can just raise it, that's not a problem, but you can actually remove this whole section and replace it with this tiny little stem. And it is absolutely fantastic that you can do that. Um, that was another part for me to, to, to make this tripod the one that I purchased because it came with this. Uh, sh like I said, shooting super low profile for me was a big thing for me when I'm shooting my seascapes and things like that. So I wanted that to have that feature in it. Um, and once again, a lot of the other tripods Arva came with n no adapter or it was a center column that was made of two parts, um, which to me, the more parts that center column has, the less sturdier it is. And I'm only going on the assumption of the, my last two tripods have had that feature in where it extends a little bit, then you unscrew it and it extends again. And by the time you've extended that second bit, you can see that the, the, the center column is not sturdy as much anymore. But now I know that I've got two center columns that are one piece that I can go low and high. Now, fair dues, you might be saying, but what ones if I wanted to switch between the two? Yes, it can be a bit of a pain in the, the, the backside to some people, I suppose, but I haven't found it a problem at all. That it, This weighs nothing. It fits in my bag quite nicely at the front. Um, 
and to switch it over is fairly easy as well. You just un you just unscrew the top, slide it out, and done. Pop that back in. Um, um, it's it's fairly easy. Takes a couple of minutes, and I don't find it a problem. So, uh, but if you if you did find that annoying on any other tripods, then maybe this tripod isn't for you. But um, yeah, to anyone that's looking for a tripod that likes super low profile but wants that stronger centre column, this might be the one for you. So yes, um, and obviously also in the bag you get a strap with it as well. And once again, I haven't used this, but it is a very, very sturdy strap. Um, I will find a use for this at some point, this strap, pure, and that's the reason why it stays in this bag so I know where it is at all times. Right, let's start with the two problems I found with this tripod. Now, um, before I go into these two problems, I actually previously recorded this video a few months back and I went into a full uh, in-depth review and how I set it up and what you get with it and how easy it is to set up, but um, I can't do that. Uh, today and this is the reason why um, and this is the reason why I decided to re-record this video as well because I wanted to just be as honest as I can for you guys now problem number one which is being sorted out um, at the moment now in my first video I actually showed myself uh, and you guys um, taking off the rubber feet and putting the spikes on how easy it is but I can't do it today Two of the rub uh, rubberized feet have decided to fuse to the legs and they just turn. The, I can't get them off, which, let's be honest, has been a major problem over the last couple of weeks because I've been shooting woodland photography constantly and I've been living on one spike, um, which has been a major issue, but unfortunately I couldn't send my tripod off to get fixed or send it away because I needed it. I had no tripod um, that I that was able enough to do the job this was the only one I had um, so yeah it has been an issue um, and I actually went in uh, depth with my other video to say that you'll notice let me grab one of the spikes so I can show you you'll notice on one of the on the spikes they actually come with like a bolt um, at the end of the spike itself which you can actually then use that to get it off and have it super tight now I actually went in to say that they should incorporate a bolt underneath the rubber bit before it hits the leg because then if it does get stuck you can just take it off with that if by spike if you just don't make that completely circle and have that an open like a spanner would you can get in there and take it off I think it's a super quick fix that any company should maybe think about but I can understand why to, to cut the cost sort of thing um, but yeah I can't get that leg off at all and that one um, I can get this one off, but that is about it. So yes, but that is being fixed at the moment. I'm in talks with Wex Photography and Benro themselves. They've told me that they will work with me to get this problem resolved as quick as they possibly can, which is super fantastic. Um, now, the other problem, which is the one that it kind of annoyed me when I first found it, but I've learned to live with it uh, without it basically because I have a tripod leveler that sits on the top of my tripod before my ball head, so it's not too much of a problem. But the this bit here that you use to raise and lock down this centre column here. Now you'll notice once it's at its tightest, so if you say you're here and you tighten it up, you'll notice that this little lever here. I don't know if that's going to focus. Let's have a look, let's have a look. There we go. So this little lever here, actually the thread stops over the bubble head, which is a right pain because now you can't see it. It's actually blocked from your view. Now, if I know what you're saying, just if you loosen it a little bit, but then your camera's gonna slide down if you're, if you're using it. So that is a bit of a problem, I'm not gonna lie. Let me just refocus that. Um, that is a bit of a problem. Uh, obviously, if you don't have even a tripod leveler, then you're going to be relying on that bubble for panos and things like that to get your tripod completely level. Um, so that's maybe an issue that Benro can have a look at. Um, I don't know if it's the same on all their brand or on all their models as such, but maybe just move the tri the, the the bubble head to the one of the sides like they have the tripod strap, um, or make the thread stop at a different point. Um, I don't know, but they are the only two. Um, 
issues I have found with this tripod. Um, one of them, like I said, is being resolved and it can happen to any brand that have removable feet for spikes. If a bit of dirt gets in there and you don't know about it, it's it can be very uh, frustrating to try and get them off. Um, but like I said, it's being dealt with with Wex and Benro, which have been super fantastic service. Um, they are making sure that issue um, doesn't happen again and resolved as well. They're going to look into it. Um, but yeah, with the tripod leveler bubble on the top, maybe that's something they can look into because it can be annoying at some times if you don't have it. Um, so yes, um, that is my tripod review on the Benro Mac 3. Uh, it's the T T M twenty uh, T M A twenty eight A I think it's called. Um, I'll put a link in below uh, to where I purchased it from, which is Wex Photography, and the price was one hundred and nineteen pounds, which is an absolute bargain for a, a really really good sturdy tripod. Um, if the issues I've spoken about, those two issues, are something that's good, that concerns you. Um, I wouldn't let it put you off buying the tripod uh, personally, not for that price. If you were paying sort of two, two fifty plus for this tripod and that was an issue, then I would say maybe stay clear. But for this price bracket, um, that for me was not a deal breaker, as in it wouldn't have put me off. Um, uh, to buy this tripod, so 100% um, back this tripod up with my with my light, and I put my camera on it. So <laughs> let's be honest, it's going to have to be something sturdy um, for me to buy um, to put my to put my gear on it. That is my my life. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And once again, please hit that thumbs up button as it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe because I have some brand new videos coming up soon. And those things in the corner right there might be a bit of a giveaway on what's happening in the next few weeks. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon.